Hello everyone, welcome to this Siemens motion control series video. This is a new series video. I will show how can we implement the S120, this high-end servo drive. And in this series video, I will use the real hardware. For the PLC side, I will use i7-1500 safety included controller. From the drive side, I will use Cinemics S120, this high-end servo drive system. And this drive system that come from the Siemens typical demo side. And from this demo side, it has CU320, this servo controller. And the drive, it has uh, two servo motors inside. And this is the infeed module, and this is the motor module. And this motor module can serve two servo motors. So this is a really good chance to show how can we use the real hardware, the controller and the servo drive system. How can we set up the system from the scratch? As shown from the previous series videos, if you know my videos before, most of the videos I used the virtual access to demonstrate how can we implement the TO, how can we use the motion control command, for example, the MC power, MC velocity or MC absolute motion. And luckily, recently, I have one chance to get one real this demo site. So I would be able to set up this series video and show how can we use the real hardware to set up this middle and high-end servo motor system. So I will show the following topics. The first video I will show how can we use this conversional, very classic software Siemens code starter software. I will start from the scratch, set up this servo drive system, and also I will do the commissioning. I will fire the motor and we can forward or reverse the servo motor system. And as we know, the starter software, this is one conventional and uh, classic software. As we know, TI Poto has been released 10 years, and i7-1500, uh, 1200, and the TI Poto, that platform has been very common. So the drive also will be common config under the TI portal. So this start drive, that is the software built into the TI portal. So the start drive almost become a common tool to config the Siemens drive system. So that's why the second video I will discuss how can we use the start drive to config this S120 drive. Basically, these two videos will show we can use the starter software or start drive software and we can start from the scratch to test and do the getting start commissioning for the Cinemics S120, this drive. And the third video, I will show how can we tune the S120 server drive. Tune the motor is very important. So I will show how can we leverage the starter and the start drive software, how can we tune the S120. Basically, I will show how can we tune the current loop and velocity closed loop. Especially, I will show how can we leverage the board plot to optimize the current loop and the velocity loop. And how can we use the trace, how can we use the curve to verify if the tuning that works perfect for your system. After the number three, we can see, basically, we finish the commissioning on the drive side. Then we can shift to the PLC side. So to control the motion, for the servo drive system, we will use the i7-1500 PLC and we will use the TO technology object to connect the servo drive system. And we will use the typical TO axis to fire the motor and move velocity and move absolute for the servo drive. Basically, that will be very easy for us to use the PLC system to control the servo drive system. Use the TO universal interface to control the servo drive system. And then number five, I will show the STO and SS1. STO means safety torque off. SS1 means safety stop. And I will show how can we use the I7-1500F safety PLC to enable or disable STO and SS1 of the S120 servo drive. The safety is very important, especially when we just build up one system without the safety enable, you can now start the servo or it's still a potential safety issue behind, right? If without the safety. So the STO and SS1 are very essential safety function for the servo drive system. 
Number six, I will show how can we tune the TO, the technology object positioning closed loop game, the game named KV. As I explained, from the number three, we will tune the current loop and the velocity loop. But for the positioning control, we need to tune the positioning control closed loop game. So the number six, I will show how can we tune this game, KV. There is one equation, we can leverage one parameter from the drive, then we can do a very simple calculation, then we can set up the initial parameter for the gain KV, and based on this value, we can do the further fine tuning, okay? And number seven, I will show how can we use the motion control command, for example, MC power, MC jog, MC move velocity, and MC move absolute. Basically, those are typical motion control function blocks, and the number eight, I will show one typical topic that is changing the velocity on the fly issue. As we know, the actual velocity from the move velocity command to the drive system, that speed command only rely on the moment when we trigger the move velocity. So after you trigger, if your side point velocity got changed after that, so that changed velocity won't be translate, won't be transferred to the motion system. So if your side point always changing there, how can we deliver this changed side point to the motion system? So there will be a typical application, for example, the wonder control system, the main control method, that is a velocity control, but that velocity need to be warrant, right? So I will show how can we change the servo motion velocity on the fly. And number nine, I will show how can we implement the torque limitation for the server drive. The velocity control on the fly and the torque limitation, those two functions always used together. They are the typical functionalities for implement the wonder control, the converting rewind or unwind system. So the torque limitation are typical function when we use the servo control system. So I will show how can we implement the torque limitation. Number 10, I will show a synchronization function. This is the MC gear in. For the standard i7-1500 PLC, we can implement MC gear in. That's the velocity gear in function. Basically, we can do a ratio. We can do the velocity gear in and gear out. So two axes can do the velocity ratio control. So those are 10 topics in this series video. I believe if you follow this series video step by step, if you have one real controller and a real server motion system in your hand, so you can follow those topics step by step, and then you can hands on, and basically you would have a rough idea how can we implement the motion control system using Siemens i7-1500 PLC and the Cinemics S120, this high-end server drive system. All right, thank you for watching. See you in next video, the number one topic. How can we use the starter, the software, to config and commissioning Cinemics S120 server drive? See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.